Hey, hey guys, YouTube, welcome back. Got a, another episode here for you today. Today we're building something. <clears throat> we'll give you a quick update. We're doing something different here. It's not a car, but it's still a model, so it's all good. Um, picked this up the other day. It was on one of my recent videos. Got the Bandai X-Wing uh, Starfighter Red 5, 170 second scale. So I started this guy here, something a little different here. I watched uh, a number of videos up on uh, YouTube here on different things to do with it, and apparently most of it is uh, kind of just weathering it. So I want to show you what I got here, um, show you what I'm doing here. It's uh, kind of cool, something different, I've never done anything like this before. So um, I'll flip the camera around here and show you what I got. All right, so the camera's flipped around here. So as you see, it's still in the building process. I got a lot of parts to go here, uh, the instructions here. Pretty basic instructions. I've been uh, marking them off as I go along, so I'm just following order. Do in order. It's pretty cool. Pieces go together really stupid simple. I mean, these are like snap right in. I'm using very little glue. A lot of it's just uh, the glue for uh, just to hold pieces in, really, more than anything. But let me show what I got here. So I got the little Luke Skywalker here, painted up, ready to go. I just did that. No. So, what I did was, was I built the wings first, and then I'm putting the body on it here, so uh, I uh, start it, let's see if I can get a better thing here, let's take all this crap out of the way, alright, so I started with the wings, put all the wings together in the engine, and uh, I didn't paint anything with it, so I got part of the fuselage thing on here, but I haven't done anything with this yet, so what I did with the wings here was, I just did the silver on the engines, did uh, gunmetal on the back here, the thrusters there, and then I paint it, which is on the inside here, you can't really see them, these little inserts, I painted those guys gray, and then what I did was I just took black acrylic wash, and I first filled it in to uh, get the panel lines going here, and I did it over the engine so you could see all the detail, there's some nice details there, but then as I did it, I just kind of did the paintbrush across, and then I took a, a fairly dry rag, kind of quasi damp, and I just smeared it backwards on the wing so you know it would give the illusion of weathering in motion. And that's all I did. And I just kind of did it kind of heavy around the uh, the engines here, a little bit in the back. I need some more in the back here. But uh, I don't want to do it too heavy, but he's, it's kind of funky looking here. It's getting going here. See that wing there looking real cool? That's pretty sharp. So, like I said, the. Uh, I didn't even paint the body. The body's not even being painted. Um, it's all just weathering. So like I said, I got the fuselage here. I'm working on the cockpit here. I need some decals in there. It's pretty cool. And then once I get all this in, and that'll be most of those parts, that I'll do the weathering across the body going that way here with the same technique. Just kind of hit the panel lines up. And then, let's get all the panel lines here. Hit the panel lines up. And then just kind of taking dabs of it and just kind of spreading it across that's all i'm doing just taking a paper towel and just slightly damp not too wet and just short little bursts that's all i've been doing just whoo 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 i know it sounds crazy but it's been working and when i want to clean up around some edges i just take a q-tip here and just kind of keep it all in the same motion that's, that's that's all i've been doing so i wanted to share this with you guys because i thought this was cool and i kind of wanted to give you an update on this because it's uh I wasn't expecting to have it as um, crusty, cruddy, if you will. I, I expected it a little bit cleaner. Because, one, I don't know what space dust looks like when it's flying through. I may take some um, dry brush, some uh, acrylic brown, and just kind of light streak some stuff through. Just kind of simulate a little different color dirt. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I can tell you, this is looking pretty freaking cool so far. I'll keep it on the light there so you can see it. So, I'm going to continue working on the fuselage here. Get my little Luke Skywalker in here. And whoop, whoop, slide him in there. Get the decals. There's some decals for the instrument panels there. And then, you know, it's got the, the nose cones to put on and the cockpit thing there. Yeah, it'll be, I'll be good. So, a couple more engine parts there and parts to the body here. Alright, so I gotta tell you, this is pretty cool. This is like a snap kit almost, so it goes together fairly quick, fairly easy. Uh, just squeeze the parts in together, and clip, clip, clip. 
All right, so I'm going to leave it here at a quick four and a half minute video, I guess. Because you guys, I wanted to share this. I thought this was really, really cool. I thought you guys might like that. I thought you guys might like the little technique I did. Just uh, water down black acrylic. Just uh, kind of put it like along the edges there. And just swift brushes across with the rag, just like that. All right, I know it probably looks like I'm spazzing out when I'm doing that on camera, but it is what it is. All right, so... So far, I'm highly recommending this Bandai kit here. This be, I gotta tell you, this might be a nice kit for like the winter when you're stuck inside the house and you can't go outside to paint and whatnot. Because this is a weekend project doing this. This will not be my last of these. I'll tell you that right now. All right, everybody. So I thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, my subscribers. Appreciate my friends. Write me. Thumbs up me. All good. All right. I'll leave it here, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, rock and or roll.